Hi, everybody. I'm NASA's Josh Byerly here in Mission Control, and I'm joined by my friend Chris Edelin, who is actually the Expedition 34 lead flight director, and that means he's got a fairly busy job over the last uh, five months or so. But Chris, you know, we're getting ready to wrap up Kevin Ford and uh, Evgeny Tarelkin and uh, uh, Oleg Nowitzki. Uh, you know, the time's almost done on board the space station. So talk a little bit about what this crew has done and, uh, you know, what you've been up to. Okay, well, it's been a very busy increment. Uh, the focus has been primarily on research and utilization, putting the space station to work. Um, in fact, uh, the, the, the primary uh, uh, focus of the crew and their, their motto is reflected in their crew patch from the Earth for the, for the Earth. And that, uh, that reflects that their desire to, to leave the confines of the Earth's gravity field to get above the atmosphere and uh, to live and work in space and to conduct uh, research that not only advances the agency's exploration goals but also benefits all of humanity. So talk about, they set a record, right, for a number of hours spent working on science utilization. Talk a little bit about what they've done and some of the big things they've worked on. Okay, th yeah, and that's, that's right. We've, uh, we're on track to set a record for total number of uh, utilization hours, and that's, that's NASA speak for scientific experiments right. and research. Uh, and we also set a, a record for one-time uh, hours in a specific week. So that really shows how um, the station program is, is maturing and we're reaching the point uh, we, we've gone from a focus on assembly operations now to utilization so that the, the taxpayers uh, get a return on their investment for the, uh, for the cost of building station. So um, again, we're, we're learning how to more effectively and efficiently operate the station systems to free up more time for research. Um, I'll, I'll give you a couple specific examples of uh, some exciting experiments that are going on on board the station right now. One of them is called CSLM, uh, that's coarsening of solid liquid uh, mixtures, mixtures, and that's, right. a, that's an experiment that flew up on uh, the SpaceX Dragon, and here you can see uh, Chris uh, Hadfield uh, working on CSLM in the microgravity science glove box. Uh, this is this is a material science experiment that uh, examines uh, how uh, molten metals solidify, and in the solidification process, uh, dendrites are formed in, in the coarsening of the material mm -hmm. of the uh, the minerals. And the dendrites are they're little tree-shaped structures, microscopic structures in the crystal, and they affect the uh, the uh, physical properties, the strength and the density of the material. So uh, on Earth, it's, uh, there, there are various processes at play, such as uh, sedimentation and convection, but we can eliminate the, those effects by uh, you know, casting this metal on orbit. So that's the, that's the goal of CSLM, is, to, uh, is to, to, to do the casting without those uh, uh, interfering effects of gravity, and then take the, uh, the resulting materials back to Earth and examine them so that we can better understand how to, how to mm -hmm. uh, make metals uh, such as uh, uh, engine blocks or turbine blades. If we better understand the physical processes of coarsening, uh, we, can, we can build better materials. There's some fish on board too, aren't there? That's right. Uh, we flew up 32 Madaka fish uh, on the 32S Soyuz back in, uh, in October with, uh, with the crew. And uh, they were living in the uh, aquatic habitat facility in the Japanese uh, module. Looks just and like that, an aquarium. I mean. That's right. It, 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 it's a high-tech uh, space aquarium. And uh, so this is a Japanese experiment. The, uh, it's, it's, the acronym is MOST for Madaka Osteoclast. And the purpose of the experiment is to study how uh, the bones are uh, built and destroyed uh, in zero gravity without mm -hmm. the effects of Earth's gravity. The osteoclast control the, the, the building up process of bones. And uh, uh, so, so by studying this in zero G, we can better understand what genes and are, are at work in the, in the production and destruction of bones and how uh, removing gravity can affect that. And, and of course, we want to understand these things so that, uh, so that we can keep our crews healthy during long duration space flight. But uh, there's all kinds of benefits and, and applicability to Earth for people with uh, osteoporosis and other yeah. bone diseases to better understand the basic processes of how osteoclasts and osteoblasts work. So whenever you look at the five months you've been the lead flight director for 34, has it been busy? Has it been, I mean, has, has it gone by pretty quickly? How, how's, how, how's it been? It's gone by more quickly than I thought it would. <laughs> and, and in fact, the crew has said the same thing, yeah. that uh, each week seems like about a day because it just flies by. They're yeah. very busy on board. Um, but things have gone very smoothly. We've been able to accomplish all the research objectives that we wanted to. We've had a total of 166 experiments on this increment with over 400 principal investigators. Wow. So we've, we've gotten a lot of good science done. And uh, again, that was the primary goal. And so it's very gratifying to have, uh, 
to have completed that. So last question for you, you know, as you look back on the on the five months that you've spent working on this, you know, what's been sort of the biggest, uh, what, do you, what do you think is the biggest thing that you're proud of, most proud of, and then what was, what's been like the biggest surprise you've had? Okay, well, the thing I'm most proud of is is, is my team. Yeah. Not only the, the the guys on orbit that have done just, just great work, but the, the people here on the ground. Uh, as increment lead flight director, I've been privileged to work with uh, a team of lead uh, flight controllers, some of which are here in Mission Control, others are in uh, our uh, payloads operations center in Huntsville and the other international partner control centers around the world. So that's been the, that's been the most gratifying part is just being part of just an excellent team that uh, has the same vision to advance the cause of, of human space exploration. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you for your time. You know, if you want to learn more about uh, everything that Expedition 34 has worked on, you can always log on to the NASA website at uh, www.nasa.gov slash station. Uh, take a look at uh, Ford and Terelkin and uh, Novitsky, and also take a look at uh, what's ahead for the crew that's coming up at the end of the month that will join Expedition 35 in progress. Of course, they've got a ton of science going on as well. Maybe they will uh, set some records, too. So uh, thanks for joining us.